Hello everybody, welcome to part five of our Google Sites eBinder series. Today I wanna to show you about how you can change your templates once your students have already made a copy. Now, this is kind of a false statement because you really can't change the physical template once the students have made a copy. Think of it as a photocopy or a Xerox. Once you've Xeroxed and then you make a change to the paper you Xeroxed, it doesn't change all the ones you've already Xeroxed. So that's what happens when you are um, it, when you create a, a template in Google Sites. But there is a little hack that you can do. So in your class eBinder template, create another folder called Unit Updates. But make sure you change the setting here um, as only you can view. All right, so make sure the settings of this new folder you have within your class eBinder folder is private, only you can access. So the students don't see it when they're making a copy of their eBinder. And within that folder, create Google Slides called Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4, as many units as you, as you can, and then make sure that you make the settings of these as um, anyone with the link can view. For the just for the files anyone with the link can view so I'm gonna do that to both of these I'm gonna change it anyone with the link can view done and in your template before the students make a copy underneath each unit or underneath each section you created for the e binders at the very bottom place a new one called the unit let's change it to new unit resources and then make sure you add that that google slide that you already had so doing that you just double click that's the wheel of awesomeness that pops up i'm going to select the google drive icon and recent because i just recently um, created these so unit one and i'm going to insert it right now i'm going to make it bigger there we go, so we have that for unit one, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for unit two, and then all the way through unit five. So I'm just gonna do unit two one more time. So at the very bottom, I'm gonna create a new tab, a new heading. I'm gonna center it. New unit resources. And then again, double click, Wheel of Awesomeness, click on your Google Drive icon, select Recent, and then select Unit 2. So this is kind of like a back door into the template you've already created. Now, anything you created in the Google site cannot be updated, but all of your embedded documents that students just have viewing rights on can still be updated. So um, if you, some other teachers I've seen utilized Google Docs for this. I like to use Google Slides because it's more media rich. So you can add how-to videos, you can add other different pieces of information into this. So once this is done, then when the student comes in here, and goes, oh, there's my template. I'm going to make my copy. They're going to open up the folder, just like we showed in our part four of this series. They're going to right-click and make that copy. And once that copy is made and the student goes into it, they now have their own copy of this eBinder template. And if they go into unit one and they scroll down, they will see your unit new unit resources. So as the teacher, if I want something to change, I just go into my folder, open up my unit resources, and let me say for, for Monday, January 8th, make sure you dot dot dot, and maybe you have a tutorial you wanted to add that was on YouTube or you, you made it on Screencastify, we're gonna insert a video from YouTube Let's say it was on Adams. We're gonna search it. So now we have this update with that file right there. It automatically saves, you don't have to do anything. Now if we go into our student template right over here, let's go, that was unit two, so I'm gonna select unit two right here.
the students can now see those resources that were added by you right here on the student screen. And they could play that video right there. Um, you can add text, you can add links, you can do whatever you want. You can give them guidance on things to change. But this is a way that you can change parts of your template without actually physically changing parts of your template. So this is a backdoor, this is a hack, this is a workaround that will allow you to do this. Now, as always, we highly recommend that as the year goes on, you keep adding to your template, you keep adding resources, you keep updating your original template for two reasons. One, you want to model what their eBinder should look like by being able to showcase the teacher copy of that eBinder. But also, as the year goes on and you make these changes, you're making your template even better for your students next year. You remove some things, you add some things, so constantly change your template. So next year, um, that that template that, that, that the students make a copy of is even better. But in the meantime, definitely use this unit resource Google uh, slide hack in order to update students' um, e-binders without actually physically updating the student's e-binders. Hopefully you found this hack useful. Hopefully you can see the benefit in being able to do this. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you are enjoying our Google site e-binder series. Thank you so much.